Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I love makeup. Today I am just gonna sit down and do a really quick get ready with me with a whole bunch of products I already had. Um, just give you a little bit of update on what's going on in my life and just have a general chit chat while I spend some me time. All right, hey you guys, happy Friday. Um, today I'm just gonna kind of play around with some stuff that I already have. I am on a no buy for the month of May, so I am just using things that I'm finding in my collection. Today I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula Butter Eyeshadow Collection in Sultry Nights because I really like this one. And um, I'm just gonna do something kind of natural and kind of easy today. I just kind of wanted to chat. Since I'm on a no buy, that means I'm also trying to kind of use up some stuff that I haven't either used in a while or is ready to just be done. Um, so I'm going to try to finish up my CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Vitalist thing that's just, I like it. Whoops. And this one's actually running out, so I think this will be the first one that just ends up being gone. It's like to the point where it, like it won't even pump out. I have to pull the this out and kind of scrape around the edges, so it's almost done. This foundation smells so good. A lot of people have a problem with the way this smells, and I think it smells amazing. I really like how it smells. So, um, but I also heard that this line is going to be discontinued, and that makes me sad because I really, actually do really like this foundation. And CoverGirl just moved to cruelty free status, so that's even better. Well, it's Friday today, and the sun has actually been shining for the last few hours in Fargo lately, it's been just like glue me. So yesterday I actually had some time to go out and start um, preparing my garden. So it's a little early up here to plant just because it still freezes overnight and I don't wanna get any plants out in the garden that are gonna just frost and die right away but I'm starting to get my soil ready. Um, so if you guys don't know, I'm very into plants and planting and um, I like to grow my own herbs and vegetables. We are very lucky that we have the opportunity to live in a home that's got a nice, good sized backyard that allows me to put in a garden every year. Um, but one of the things about being in Fargo is we have such long winters that I end up with kind of a short growing season. Um, so last year I ended up planting a lot of things just way too late and they just didn't work out. So this year I'm ahead of the game, getting my soil ready. We found a kiddie pool earlier today that we're going to drill some holes in and that's going to be one of our gardens. And that's another thing about the no buy is although there's of course things you have to buy, I'm going to try to also keep my spending down as much as possible in other areas. So the thing that's really nice about um, gardening and planting and things like that is a lot of stuff can be like upcycled or reused or composted or whatever. So I saw yesterday this video on YouTube and as soon as I watched it, I was like, oh duh, why have I never thought of that before? Where she was using, instead of getting a raised planter bed, she used a like a plastic kiddie pool. Um, because we've been looking at getting some new raised beds. And then I saw that video, I was like, how genius. And it's like a fifth of the price because raised beds can get really expensive. Personally, I like kind of more an eclectic, kind of um, like collection-y looking garden um, as opposed to really, you know, I don't wanna say as opposed to planned out because it'll be planned out, but you know what I mean. Like you've seen those beautiful gardens that are like perfect rectangles and everything's in a row, but um, which are absolutely gorgeous and really expensive to kind of pull off. So I'm gonna get out a kiddie pool. I've got lots of containers. It's just gonna kind of be really kind of a mishmash and just kind of a me garden. Um, so I'm really excited for this year. But the thing I'm actually the most excited about is my son wants to have his own tomato bush. So we're gonna get him a little um, container and you know fill it with dirt and let him pick out his own tree or tomato plant. And he wants to do orange tomatoes. Um, so he's only three, but I think it'll be fun for him to kind of have a little piece of the garden that's all his own. So we're gonna get him an orange tomato plant and he's gonna be responsible for watering it and helping to pick the tomatoes and eating them. Although he doesn't like tomatoes, I just think it's super funny that he wants to grow them so badly. So that's gonna be a fun kind of mother-son activity that we're gonna have this summer that's gonna be 
I hope it's I hope he doesn't lose interest I guess um, yeah I just think it's so funny that he hates vegetables of all kinds but he's obsessed with helping in the garden but he won't eat what he helps grow and I think that's funny like so he'll eat any fruit you put in front of him for the most part but a vegetable like he can find it in food and spit it out so I've been trying to do this thing like he eats lots of fruit which is great but like you need vegetables so I've been doing this thing where I'm trying to like hide veggies in his food like we made mac and cheese the other night so we use you know our usual Annie's organic boxed mac and cheese which tastes really good and it's got like a strong enough flavor that I thought that I could put in some um um, like cauliflower rice you know how it's like cut up real small and just mix it in with the cheese sauce like not a whole lot it didn't change the flavor but as soon as he took a bite he went and like worked out all the little pieces of cauliflower I it was astounding to me so we had like he wouldn't eat it so we had to trade I ate his and he ate mine and you just you couldn't tell so I don't know if there's like pastas out there that are actually made of vegetables not like the zoodles because he won't eat those but like pastas like made with vegetables that might help i have no idea so if you guys have any tips on getting insanely picky toddlers to eat vegetables let me know like the only thing he'll eat that's a vegetable is raw baby carrots and he likes to eat broccoli but only if it's like stir fry broccoli so if it's got stir fry sauce on it he'll eat it other than that nothing and I don't know how he got so anti either like we always gave him when he was like a baby and eating pureed foods he always had fruit and vegetable purees so he like got a range of tastes and but I don't know when he just like all of a sudden stopped eating vegetables. It's not like he was never, they were always offered to him. He had them like as some of his first tastes, like his first food was avocado. Um, so I just, I don't know. But also here's an interesting point. Can we, can we just take a moment to talk about how this smells? It smells so good. It smells like banana boat. <laughs> I love it. Um, but the interesting point is that my brother, grew up exactly like Magnus but opposite so my brother would not eat fruit my mom said even like as a little kid he would if fruit got in his mouth he would spit it out just like Magnus doesn't eat vegetables and even to this day my brother is like no fruit's gross like he said the other like recently that he's working his way up to liking like raspberry jams and jellies yeah that's how much of no fruit he is he I, yeah, so maybe it's a thing in my family that you don't like one food group and that's it. However, that is not the case for me. I like most foods. Don't really care for um, smooshy textures like mashed potatoes are not my thing. But in the, for the most part, I like to just try new foods and, you know, experience life. In entertainment news, I recently started watching the show that's just a brand new show, like three episodes are out on it, Bless This Mess. It's got Lake Bell and um, Dax Shepard in it. It's so cute. So cute. It's about these like people from New York that inherit and move to a farm. And it's a lot like the movie Money Pit, which was a definite... Um, family favorite in my household growing up so it's just been like really fun to watch the show and they moved to like a small town in Nebraska and it's like a total farming town so while I did grow up in a big city in North Dakota I grew up in a big city in an agricultural community so there's a lot of it that I'm just like yeah that's pretty true that's pretty funny um, but it's a show that I hope a lot of people start to like because there's so many really good people in it and I just would be so upset and really bummed if like it didn't last very long. But it's one of those shows that you can watch, like you watch and you're like, yeah, this might not be for everybody and I could definitely see, see it maybe not lasting, which would be so sad because it's really, it's just really good and it's really funny and it's sweet and nice and David Koechner's in it and he's one of my favorite like comedic actors ever 
and Pam Greer is in it and she's just amazing. So um, if you guys have checked it out, definitely, or if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check out Bless This Mess. I think it's on Wednesdays. Um, I'm not sure, but I like it a lot. I think it's funny. All right, well, camera died while I was putting on my liner and mascara, so I have liner and mascara on now. Um, I am gonna use a little bit of Hoola today for my bronzer. In other news, I recently did my cousin's daughter's, I guess she's like my little cousin, um, makeup for prom last weekend. It was, I was so honored that she asked me. It was so cute. She texted me and she like a month ago and she's like, Leah, would you please do my makeup for prom? So I was like, oh my gosh, of course I would. I would be absolutely honored because how fun. Um, let me tell you, doing makeup on yourself is one thing. Doing makeup on another person is so much more difficult. It turned out good and she was so pretty. She loves mermaids. So she picked this dress that was like, like mermaidy sea, foam tealy blue gorgeous I'll put a picture in um and it had sparkles all over and she was so pretty and her hair was so gorgeous and she came prepared with like pictures from Pinterest of what she wanted to do with her um makeup so we did kind of like a blue um subtle cut crease with lots of glitter all over everything and so much highlighter and she was so pretty and she was so nervous and just so cute. I'm like, oh my God, this is the funnest thing. And her mom was all stressing out and she had to like go get her date and he was all nervous to put the flower on. And I was like, holy cow, man. That's, I don't really remember my prom being that much of a production um, besides I went and got my hair done. But I did like my own makeup before I even knew what really makeup was. And I just like went with a good friend and we had a blast, but she was so cute and so nervous and I think she was going to have a good time. So I hope she did, but she looked really pretty and it was so fun to get to like do her makeup. So I don't think I want to use blush today. I just had the idea that I just want to use a little bit of this. It's a highlight technically, but it's kind of dark and it's called crown of my canopy, but it's just like a nice kind of like bronzy pinkish color. Um, it might look terrible, might look awesome. We're going to find out. Um, yeah, so that was really fun and it was just really nice to like be there and be part of her day and um, hang out. And it sounded like some really fun girl time, so it was really fun. Just for schlepping around and going to pick up groceries after we pick up my son from daycare, I think it looks all right. I'm gonna try this NYX Cream Liquid Lipstick. I've never used this one. It's brand new, I just opened it. I bought it a little while ago, but I never got around to using it. So we're gonna use it today. All right, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I just needed to spend a few minutes chit-chatting with you guys and spending a little time on self-care. It's been a real uh, hair up and t-shirt mode the last few days, so I'm glad I got to spend some, some time feeling a little bit pretty today. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I will love you forever. Have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.